Three B main out of the bomb site, getting whatever info they can, but the push is underway. FNS already out to log his teammate, pressing forwards towards the defender's side of things. CP2 holding strong on the bomb site finds Kabo. Three players from Envy remaining. He finds another. CP2. Big man on the default box is holding steady. Winston bails him out. Now crashes that main, collecting one decent hedge into the jaws of the defense, not caring, knowing that they weren't going to get challenged right away. But Renegade, look at this. Just relentless aggression, even on the bonus. Winston finding one on the food, and they're just not ready. Caboose, luckily, being as insane as he is, turns, helps out, and does get a trade. So not all spelling bad news for Envy, but Renegades, I, I really am liking what I'm seeing out of them from so far, eventually. Yeah. Even close range judge. Finesse is waiting for this one. He expects it, but it's still going to be a win from Retro. So that's one weapon down, but there's still players just behind the body left behind from FNS to try to trade it out. But Retro is able to dash away. Free fire shots coming through. He's counting the bullets. Goes back out. Lance for the second kill. And even the third one into Mame. But Mame was able to take down Randy Savage just before. In the end, it's still going to be Caboose on his own on a three versus one. He does have the spike. There's 40 seconds left on the clock. He could himself go for a backstab, but the positioning so far for Renegades is that whoever dies, the rotation is coming back on the other side and quickly on top of that. And it's going to be a... Can be. They do have those shooters on their squad where the Sheriff is absolutely still scary in the right hands, but the beginning of this Big round dark. won't go that direction. Winsome and CP2 finding the first contact around, but Mame and FNS trade out kills of their own, and Crashies there with that Sheriff. We keep talking about it. You know, such a surprise at times where kills come out where we normally wouldn't expect them to, but a nice shot, out mechanic, out skilled. And Randy Savage evening things up following that kill from Crashies, but a nice shot from him to get him to this point. Now he's creeped up in heaven in a very compromising position, and he whiffs, just hitting nothing but air. Towards the way in Catwalk, but look how out in the open Randy Savage is. He's just looking for a quick flick from all these angles, and he unfortunately looks back towards the A side before, and Crash Still in the cards, but there are two players from Renegades over here, so Randy Sa Savage grabbing the first is huge. At least find a little bit of time for Bergie, who's on the bomb site alone. And these these kills just keep coming through. We don't even know where they are on the map, but Crashies. Their air plants are much more manageable, I'd say, to deal with when you've already kind of, uh, I'll use a term, milked the utility out of your opponent, so to speak. <laughs> so 6-3 now. I mean, obviously, Envy definitely. There's so many rounds left to play, but okay. 10 seconds left on the clock. The fast B play Ten comes out. Sidewalk pushed uh, up quick. Bergie yeah, finds yeah, two. Yeah. Wins them with another. Headshots with Vandals, that's all the scoreboard's showing with maybe one Spectre enough. Still did not pan out for them and almost, you know, win a 5-0 flawless victory for Envy, to, or for, for Renegades, rather. That said, this Eco is going to be pushing in towards A. The door is contested by oh, Winsome, man. and a caboose flick! Drops CP2, what a shot! Five on three now, Renegades have to give up the bomb site, but Randy's down here spraying Why away, fighting for his life. He actually grabs two, and now it's Retro. Pushing in from heaven, finding two kills of his own in Mame. He's he's gonna have to bust out this Omen ult and get the heck out of here. Either save the Phantom or play for the Ooh, clutch. Gurgis so wise to it. The cancel comes through. Denied from Renegades. You know, that was a very scary ego from Envy. Oh, yeah. And this very well could have gone their way, but that shot from Caboose, my God. Regrouping towards mid. There are three players from Envy over here at B and Market side, so. Mame will be the first to fight, finds two, classic first to the face, and Caboose finds one of his own, and like you said, can't count out Envy in these pistols, another Sheriff kill going the way of Crashies, man, still your omniscient, look at the 10 rounds, there's a lot of questions unanswered here for Renegades, Retro with a fast play into A, I'm just gonna continue on as the play has already been made, the A pushes in, two kills for okay. Renegades, only one gets traded out, the Hunter's Fury doesn't land, man, silly, now we have a 4v3 post-plant scenario for Envy. Yeah, at least, at least Envy, they have a running back, they have the Empress. They pop it both right away, so they're going to try to get an early control into the site. Don't allow them to get a pulse time position, but the running back is gone. The Empress is still trying to move forward. Gets the first kill here onto Bergie from the sliding door as he dismisses side to side. Pops back in the front of Retro and takes it down as well. Conti continues his work here for Caboose. Spots the last two in the front of the site, and just like that, the ties have turned. Envy takes the upper hand. FNS trying to peek forward, and it's Caboose and FNS going to work for the last two. The defuse will come through. It was a mixed buy coming in for Renegades, they still managed to take control of this. And it's unsuccessful. And I thought it was well going to be a piece round.
because they, they had the Blade Storm getting ready. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to go B because they wanted to use the Blade Storm, but then they still killed Retro first. Same thing for this round, and this time they're waiting for it. I was going to say, because Envy got the first kill, they didn't care. They still pushed through FNS's Cyber Cage to get those frags, and now finally they hold their ground. We're going to get a teleport all the way out towards A. We're going to have loud footsteps towards the spawn side, though, but it's uh -oh. being heard, so Crash is already Planted. watching it. CP2 is dead to right. That's one down, and it's a four versus one. Make that a three. Bergy has done it before. He's looking to do it again. He's inside the site right now, but he's going to have to get be weary of players coming in from A main and also from the catwalk. I love so far. Oh, no, I was going to say, oh, no. I love that he put the dark cover out to run away or hide from the owl drone, but after that, he gets tagged. A flash comes through. That's it. Envy will win this round after the defuse. They're not in a position right now. You know, at 12-10 to be losing anything else, right? You want to yeah. put this game away. Crashies has other plans. Knowing that likely there are players outside of A main, blind, rips it through the wall, gets a lot of damage out, and finds a frag. Renegades, 12-10, still clinging to this two-round lead and certainly are on map point. Can't neglect the fact that this is do or die for Envy, but can't help but feel like they're a little bit, you know, I don't want to say frustrated, but certainly have been foiled and frustrated at several different points in this half on these these executes on the bomb sites where yeah. maybe they're having uh, initial success or, or initial issues, rather. <laughs> but, I, uh, I'd be I don't know what though. else they could do here. I'd be frustrated if I was Renegades because the idea there was try to jump on that wall so they could try to surprise it, but let's talk about that in a little bit. We are still executing towards the A side, left. and the trades are still coming true. In the end, as though they have a one-minute advantage from the Hunter Fury and Tags 2, we still have two healthy players for Renegades move inside the site. So there's 20 Five seconds planted. left, the door closes. It's all up to Food and up to FNS to try to win this so far, to try to stay alive in this first map versus Renegades. As we are holding double hell for the attackers, Winsome, holding the angle, FNS, they know that one's towards heaven, and it's him and Bergy right now, trying to hold it back. This is both the face. FNS calls Bergy. Only one more to go. He gets burnt down and also gets headshotted by food, and that's a great way to retake the site, but also a good thing, the positive aspect out of the bomb site is so claustrophobic and so difficult sometimes to hold in post plants, and Caboose, who's been getting so greedy, finally gets caught out by Retro. Crashy falls go. on the bomb site, and this may be it for Envy. They are forced into retake with 3B5. 10 seconds into the round. Wow, Renegade's <laughs> off to a heater. And Randy Savage, you know, who's on a mixed buy? Sheriff only, finding a Sheriff headshot on the food at mid. Randy having a game of his own. And now it's 12-11. Map point. Five on two. Envy desperate here for anything. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get it done. It's Winsome running oh that show stop round. So we'll see whether or not Envy finds an answer as the... You know, this is a an anti eco on the half of Renegades. Winston pushing into heaven, finds the first stun of Mame, and Envy, who's been so scary all day today, Van Silly. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the sheriff buys, the force buys, and you see the stinger over here with food might come into play in just a moment. Uh, I take it back, but <laughs> you know, this is good to see from Renegades if you're a Renegades fan, seeing them, uh, you know, dealing with the constant threat of sheriff, stinger, whatever it is coming out from Envy. That's been so. So disgustingly dangerous, as we can see right there. Crashy's very nearly flanking a, a full three players and collecting the spike. Luckily, CP2, minding the flank, seals that gap. And uh, there's one player over here one at A main remaining. that is Caboose, but he gets found out by Randy Savage, and that may be disaster avoided for Renegades altogether, and there it is. Two dashing in his retro, creating a little bit of space. Food should get found out there at that heaven location he is, and supported by Crashy's in the back, he only finds one. So this is actually... Turning out all renegades on the A bomb site. Envy will have to retake slowly from the other side of the map. But uh, there is CP2 minding the flank over there at A main. So despite the fact that FNS is, you know, wrapping around there and, and eventually going to walk down that ramp, I do wonder whether or not CP2 is going to catch him as we see this elbow action occurring right here from Randy Savage. Delaying as much as he can with those nano swarms as Ome peers into the bomb site from above. Spike ticks away now. First pick going on to Randy Savage from Mummy. And has climbed it on the site. Turkey finds one. Ooh. And it's just CP2 at long range with the Spectre. Can't get it done. I believe it was a Phantom, actually, but towards the A bomb site from both teams. Oh, and a little bit of a noise betrayal, yeah. and the trick is broken, so it doesn't matter now. The rolling thunder from, uh, I believe that was the side of Envy. Yep. Catches one, maybe two players from Renegades, but. 
One kill does get traded out, so 4v4 going back towards B. Things are still looking good for Renegades in this round, but, you know, inside of B main lays a lurking threat from Caboose. That is so good. But I'm not quite sure. Crash is able to grab one at mid for being traded out by CP2. And around that Omen smoke is an FNS that is not being accounted for. Caboose stepping out of B main. And there it is. FNS with the backstab. They didn't see him enter it. And it was a perfect timing play. He eeks by it just, just ever so slightly beyond the vi And it's gonna be a hard time to retake when you only have two ops after a kill joint ult. Now they're moving through. Well, check that out. We're still gonna get a kill from Food. Burgett trades back with two of his own, but then that's it. They're holding their grounds and there's only one more to go. That's CP2 with a rolling thunder. And as he peeks out, that's Food with a third. And when we're looking back. Blinding. Flash catch and Food. Results in an unscope and a yielding of that angle, but Crash, he's rock solid on the site box, one in a dance with another. Does he find the kill? No, he does not. CP2 bails out Retro, desperate for some some support in the back of the bomb site, but FNS is crept out. They know he's there. He gets absolutely murdered. Food, though, over at screens. Are you sure that Renegade's not getting anything for free? Caboose in that dark left. cupboard, finding an encroaching Retro. Two on three, Renegades yet to put the spike down. Only seconds remaining on the clock. They are pressed to do so now, and in comes the retake from Envy. Three players walk out of that smoke towards screens. Bergy finds one, boost break, trades it instantly, and wins them. He's in a really tight spot right here, but this might be good for him. Finding one in the mummy, and Caboose gets challenged. He falls. Both headshots, and that's it is. Uh, and now they're spreading the map for the first time, and Retro has a nice cheeky play with an aftershock at the top of the ramp, but it doesn't matter. The fault line doesn't come through in time. I'm sorry that the aftershock is definitely a, a fault line, but Winsome does find another frag on the other side of the map, at least. That was almost a really cool play, Van Silly, but, you know, as I stumbled over my words, that was a, a, a stun, basically, at the top of the ramp, and the jet dash to find an early kill almost comes through. It's just a nice shot again for Mummy to deny it, and... This showstopper into B is just looking so awkward. Getting a trip, chasing a player through B main. That's FNS. He falls. There's only three players remaining. And that's Crash. He's on the bomb site still. I was wondering who that was. That's him. That's a player from NB. Standing next to two different players from Renegades. And that ultimate finally coming through. But Winsome dancing around to the back of the bomb site. Oh finds my himself God. in a one on one that Nade could land. It does not, but forcing that now from Renegades. But this is also forced errors from Envy, who are just putting pressure on consistently. But Retro finding the first on a caboose. Takes a, quite a bit of damage, but nice little mid pop flash to get that done. And uh, Retro might get another bit of damage out. Okay. Another dink on FNS, but he survived. And Renegades, you know, any kills are great, but this is split a little bit tight quarters. And when it comes to map comparisons, I'd say that this is very. You know, not necessarily a scary situation always, but anti-ecos could be so difficult sometimes. FNS finding Winston there, that's that's a good start. Crash is keying in on this very, very audible rotate. Renegade's not seeming to give a damn about the fact that everybody just heard them sprinting through spawn. Envy's going to walk into an empty bomb site, but CP2 wise to it. Maybe a thorn in their side. 30 seconds left. They're running back through spawn side too, so they're about to get flanked. <laughs> one enemy remaining. Yeah, there you go. Mummy gets two kills. CP2 just w trying to win that one versus one at the garage. That doesn't work. And you know what? When I talked about the situations at, at the score line now, but Caboose just walked through way heaven. He's not going to casually move to screens. They know, but just slam dunks one of Winsome's head. Suddenly this is the five on four. CP2 does get two, and that's huge. Those kills are massive in this this last round, you know, potentially before Envy gets onto map point. So desperate to make sure that, you know, with those two kills, suddenly there's a little bit of Renegade's life in this round. But this, this 2v3 is so important for the chances of a comeback. And it's already looking dangerous. Bergy does find one, so it's one on two for Retro. It is doable, but FNS finding a frag through the smoke. That is it. Doesn't find anything in the double up draft, but... You know, you were talking a bit about, uh, you know, how we highlighted the Renegades' successful defense on Ascent and how good they looked playing together and synergizing their agent abilities. And I, you couldn't be more right, Van Silly. This is, you know, a breakdown of utter proportions so far in this half, but that one, that very last round, the first defensive round for, for Renegades, you know what, like, it's step one at the very least, but, you know, I was going to preface this by saying, if you're going to make a comeback... 
Defensively, you got to be good. But Envy just seems to be picking them apart. Retro does get one with the Blade Storm. Finds a second before falling to that pink shell grenade coming out from Caboose. But, uh, you know, you spelled the spelled it out for us already, Van Silly, where this defensive side of Renegades, you know, that was what was so scary to watch. Mm -hmm. You know, in map one, we're not really seeing that here. And, of course, there's not going to be many more opportunities. Oh, the timing on that one. That if they don't win this round. And, of course, 30 you know, seconds just having left. CP2 in a 1v3. Here from the A-bomb site. Booth's already there waiting for them. Brute force over here at B, and now we're moving back to the A side, and Food is going to get a wall bang on a retro who's trying to get out of the way. Or he's going to face the challenge next. Find a spike on Caboose, dropped him. Traded out quickly by Food, three on three. Should get the spike down here at any moment, but the showstopper from Winsome scares them enough to at least delay that somewhat. I don't think they have spike control. The spike is down in showers, yes, right below, below Winsome. And... You know, we see food pressuring CP2. He's going to find the kill. Mame with a flank. It's suddenly this is a one on two. This went from Renegades' advantage into an almost unwinnable situation from Winsome. And wow, Envy. Two players of Envy that are pushing slowly from the ATC side, which allows Mummy to get that flank and end up backstab in the end. So, yes, definitely some miscommunication from Renegades at that point. And that's going to put them back on an eco where. They definitely could have turned it, turned it around onto the last half or the last round, especially when they got so many kills early into <laughs> that round. And yeah, FNS is just going to continue to uh, to get these type of kills this He's time. Cheating. <laughs> Don't say that. How about this retro one? is too? Look at this man. <laughs> He's collecting headshots. Yeah, so two well, dices uh, coming in from the uh, from the kunais. Yeah. Up for short A, but the rest are now moving inside of the B site for NB. That's three players alive. Now Retro on his own. Still has an eyes out. Four blades. Dashes towards the site. Another refresh. Vandal picked up. Little upgrade coming through. And now it's just going to tap onto the spike. A big curveball. And a Roomba that's going to come back at the same time. Now as he comes towards the left, he gets the kill. <gasps> Plus on the left. Can he get it? He runs out of oh. ice. Too slow on the Vandal to come out as Caboose saves. Bergy getting scanned, forced to fall back. The ultimate from Food does get popped. The run it back finds one under Retro. That's a huge entry on Caboose. FNS grabbing one more before Winsome trades him. Just one kill out. That will be U-Haul. Grabs another one on the run. Drive by in a third headshot out of Winsome. The Vandal comes through in a big way. And suddenly this is an advantage towards Renegades in the post plan as FNS wraps around. I take it back. Suddenly, it's just one player remaining on Randy Sapp. A little quiet over here in the last several rounds and finds himself in a 1v2 scenario, finds the first kill, moving out of the bomb site. 1v1, clock ticks away as the spike creeping towards detonation. FNS, who is wrapped around that truck and found two. Fury right away, but instead they have two players together oh watching that God. angle to start. And now they're both walking towards the Uka area where Randy Savage dies, unfortunately, right? So you have to be discovered already there because your teammate wasn't there to help you because he had an owl drone to try to scout out towards the B side area. At least CP2 connects to a shot, but he's already down at 2 HP. This is going to be impossible for him to stay in line, oh! but check that out. He gets a no scope onto Caboose as he flies towards the air, but then food retaliates. That's two kills of his own. A three versus two now as Retro's looking for that flank. Push on. FNS just at the bottom of the window, looking up towards the air. A date to come through, and he gets the wall bang onto Mummy. Then the crossfire setup. The tides have turned. The Renegades takes the upper hand, and we have food on his own. And funny enough, he actually switches out to the operator that was left behind from his opponent. This is going to be a hard hold. A dash into the site. The right clicks have to ring true, and he gets the first contact. No, actually, rings off the tin. And Retro gets the last kill, and Renegades a much needed round as they capitalize on it. CP2, CP2, <laughs> what was that shot, man? That's going to see the showers. That's going to see Edward. That's going to start walking towards the A main. And that is also going to be an Omen teleport from the heavens, too. So definitely difficult position now for Renegades, but a double up on showers could definitely be doable. Paranoid, a look back towards the spawn from Lame. A smoke towards the showers that nullifies all type of defense towards the entrance. And that should allow now Envy to get into the site. Spike planted. Spike will get planted. Can 
opened up in DT right there as DP2 he misses his shot. Mummy capitalizes. And Renegade to consistently have been outmaneuvered and outplayed in a lot of these mid-round scenarios. Envy showing why we regard them as one of the better teams in North America. That said, Randy Savage with a rebuttal of his own finds two Vandal Crisp taps down at U-Haul. Hat comes out. Information will be revealed, but Mame will get the first kill. And now it's just Bergy. Yeah, time is ticking. This is most certainly an Envy round, but for a moment in this game. Maybe two moments. Last Renegades look remember. like great, great call vent. So that was something that we noticed earlier was food struggling to get into the B bomb site with Caboose on the hook control. And a lot of times you saw him get picked on the entry, but he is clearly, you know, reset from this morning and is absolutely taking matters into his own hands. Now Retro with a rebuttal of his own once again, coming through the TP. It finds a spike for his, uh, you know, a little, little bit of effort. Had to sweat a bit for it, but got two in the spike. But uh, Bergy stranded over here at Fountain. Uh, obviously, I don't think... Maybe it isn't obvious, but I don't think Envy uh, <laughs> has any idea he's over here. But this actually is is a great power position for the rest of this round, barring the idea that maybe they go back towards A. I exactly. I was going to say that was a possibility. Finds one at a caboose. 1v1 now. FNS versus Berkey on the B bomb site. Spike not planted yet. 30 seconds remain. Paranoia comes out. It nails FNS. 30 right seconds in left. Space. And Berkey takes the superior angle, catches FNS off guard, cleans up the third headshot. But that could have been something that could have been useful uh, as they wanted to explode uh, into the A site. FNS taking this dry challenge over here at Showers. Randy Savage, sharp with his aim, gets the better of him. Mame over here at U Haul facing the heat. And he responds appropriately. Finding two kills. Renegades now with three members remaining. Randy Savage moved out of that Showers position. Is that a triple now? Finds the kill in a moment. The refrag does come out despite oh, the fact that he has one HP, so he'll fall. And now it's just one player remaining. That's Retro over in U Haul. 1v3. And he has the angle over here on Raze. Finds the game, finds the frag. Okay, that's one. Two players remain. One on flank over here at short. One at hell position. And I don't think... I, I imagine Retro knows that the threat is absolutely... Could be on his flank. Oh, yeah. His but teammate died the with other the spike side of there. It, well, he, yeah. Well, he knows that the spike is down. So he doesn't realize... He, he's unsure of whether or not they're guarding the spike. Or if they're guarding him here at short. So he should fall in just a moment. And as I say that, he does a 180 and one tap crash in the face. Oh my goodness, that very nearly was the second one on the food. <laughs> hey, we're on match and series point, though. Yeah. 12 3. Oh no. And it starts off with a kill from Caboose. They're still trying to add pressure here on the Jokes top over. of the long You're team. Dead. And that's going to be a running back canceled by Retro. He does have a knife out. Oh, but that's it. So he falls. They're trying to push forward now. And that's a huge curveball. Long range is going to be the Omen trying to fight against them. That's Bergy right there. And his teammates all across the map. We gotta try to work together here, and the Allen Drone's gonna spawn him. They have their Hunter's Fury. He's tagged. There's one. The kill from Caboose. Four versus one. The showstopper to end the deal, but Randy Savage says no. Spike is down, but Mummy finally puts him to the grave. And that